Well, one touchdown, I guess, wasn't enough to get three today. You know, how good did that feel, and especially how long it's been since you've been in the end zone? I oh, mean, it felt good. It was it was a blessing because it's been like over a year and some change since I got in the end zone. So being able to get three of them and help the team win is just a huge plus on top. What was it about tonight that just it, you were able to get yourself in the positions and you were able to you know run the routes to, to get open there? Just What was it about tonight that you just found the success you did? I mean, I give credit to Ashton Genty. I mean, so many guys in the box. I mean, that just, that just leaves space for us. We've been blocking all year really well for him. So being able to get those same looks, make everything look the same and just get the end zones, uh, get the touchdowns that look like run plays. So being able to just be so good in the run game that it leaves the pass game wide open. What can you say about your king action with Maxon? Oh, one more time? Uh, your king action with Maddox Maxon. Just uh, what you say. I mean, we work on it every day. We're in Ross on there every day. We're, it's, it's different ways we can get better at things. We communicate every time where it's a route, whether it's a route I'm open or not, just finish it, finding ways to get open and be able to keep that connection between us is a is a huge part of our game because you know it's a long season and being able to have that connection and keep growing it throughout the season is is not going to do nothing but help us. Well, I feel like a few weeks ago you were pretty banged up. How much better equipped are you to deal with the highs and lows that football throw at you now? Oh man, uh, going through that Achilles last year it taught me a lot because um, I can't just sit there and dwell on the bad things when there's so much good in life. And so it's always it's always somebody doing worse than you or someone that that might have it worse than you. So being able to go in there every day and just work out and be able to know that I have I have a chance and opportunity to get healthy. So just dwelling on not being healthy or being banged up is not what I do because I mean it could it could be worse. So I was had an injury that was that was fixable basically so being able to just rehab it every day and work hard was was the only thing on my mind. Is it rewarding to get in the end zone three times in a win like when you consider all that? Yes sir, for sure. Now, early in the season it felt like the the offense you know was priding itself on the the quick drive, the quick scores and the the big plays but tonight really able to grind it out all your touchdown drives were Eight, eight plays or more, you doubled the time of possession against them, 33 first downs, you know. What were you guys able to do that, you know, maybe they were stopping the big plays, but you just kind of kept moving methodically and effectively? Uh, that's just a testament to our work ethic and our conditioning. I mean, being able to have long drives like that isn't easy. So just coming out there and having the ability to finish a drive and always tell each other, like, we're not done. Even if it's third down, we still have a chance. If it's third and long, we still have a chance. If we get some flags, First and second down, we still have a chance. So being able to stay in the fight and stay conditioned throughout it. Uh, probably today for sure. I don't know his exact stack, but he had five touchdowns. So and we won. So I mean, that's great. You, I mean, you brought up Ash in the beginning of this thing. When when you come out in the second half and they don't have as many guys in the box, I mean, how, how that's a little bit of a tip of the cap to you guys doing your job. And then Ashton busts off 60 yards rushing on that, that opening drive. Like, he's done so much for this team. How rewarding is it feel to almost like kind of pay it back to him by doing your jobs and lightening that box a little bit for him? I mean, it's great. I mean, we, we do our jobs every play, being able to, even if we do got a block for him and everybody knows it's a run play, we, we try to do our jobs at a high level. So being able to just continue to do our jobs at a high level and, you know, be able to pay him back is, is great. You know, I had some ups and downs, I guess, this season when it comes to his production. How do you help him kind of through that? And, you know, he has 49 yards catching, gets in the end zone tonight. So that's probably rewarding for him. But what have you kind of seen out of him and how have you helped him having a little more experience? Yeah, Prince, is, Prince works hard every day. Um, we all have things to grow in. Uh, so I just tell him to continue to grow every day in his patience, patience, just patience. His time coming. Uh, so, I mean, it's tonight. and. We have so many more games left where guys are just going to think Ashton is getting the ball every time. So our op our opportunity is eventually going to come. So that's why I preach to the whole receiver room, not just Prince. Like, our, our opportunity is going to come. We just keep doing our job at a high level. For you guys, Latrell, like a year ago about this time, this program had a very, very different feeling. I mean, you, you were out. Head coach is about to get fired. I mean, it is what it is. What is it like to stand here a year later and look around the locker room and see that you guys are 7-1? and one? Mm -hmm. You know, ranked in the top 15 teams in the country and a chance to go to the college football playoff if you continue yeah, to do a, your thing. I mean, it's a blessing. We just got to continue to grow every week and be able to preach that to the whole locker room. Like we we haven't we haven't accomplished nothing. We don't have a we don't have a ring for this year. We don't have a playoff win for this year. 
So we just got to continue to come in and work and know that there's so much more meat on the bone that we have to we have to continue to attack. Anything else? Latrell, um, Coach kind of mentioned, I mean, they're stacking the box. They're throwing the kitchen sink at Ashton Denty. You've played a lot of college football. Like, have you ever, like, the last couple games seen the box that stacked? Is that a little unusual? that say about Ash and Genty and this team to respond to that? Yeah, it's, it's very unusual, but I mean, what do you expect? They're trying to win games. Uh, that's nothing That's nothing we don't expect. So being able to see that is just like, that's a testament to how good he is. I mean, we just got to continue to find different ways to beat it. Beat it. There's so many guys in the box. I mean, just throw it over the top of them like we did tonight. So continue it and then just grow and stay in the game plan. All right, thank you. Thank you. Congrats, the trail.